Kate. Today we are going to be moving through a quick and fun sunshine yoga flow. We'll get started in extended child's pose. So as you're ready, bring your knees wide to the edges of your mat, connect your two big toes behind you, and then as you stretch your hips back towards your heels, reach your arms out really long in front of you. Allow your head to drop towards your mat. If your forehead reaches your mat, you can gently start to roll it from side to side. And then soften your shoulders down away from your ears. Relax the muscles of your face through your jaw, through your forehead, through the space between your eyes. And land here now. Start to create deep, intentional breath, filling up through your nose. And then exhale, emptying all the breath any way it feels good. Another inhale, fill up. Exhale, empty out. Option, as you're in child's pose, to set an intention or a mantra or a mindset that you'd like to carry through your practice today. And then with that in mind, take another full breath in. Exhale out. Good. Walk your hands over to the left side of your mat, your right hand reaching towards the back, back of your left hand. And then slowly walk your hands back through center and reach to the other side, left hand reaching for the back of your right. Feel that stretch through your left hip. Walk your hands back through center. Slowly roll forward, coming to a tabletop position with your shoulders coming over your wrists, your hips coming over your knees. And once you're set there, move through some cat cows with your breath. Inhaling as you draw your chest open and exhaling as you round through your back body. Each inhale, drawing your chest through your shoulders, gaze up and each exhale, rounding from your tailbone through the top of your head. If it feels good, you can start to make some movement in your hips and your shoulders, rolling from side to side, shaking out through your head and your neck, just loosening up through your body here. And then make your way back through center, tuck your toes under and drive your hips back, first downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, take hips left to right, Make movement that feels best to you today. And then once you've made that movement, take your feet to about hip width distance. Press down firmly through your palms. Really drive your heels back towards the back edge of your mat. You can take a little bit of softness in your knees here. Gaze between your feet. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then moving with the breath as you inhale, rock up high on your tiptoes. Exhale, press your heels back. Inhale up high. Exhale, drive back. Inhale high. Exhale, press back. Take your gaze towards your hands. Walk your feet forward, landing in ragdoll at the top edge of your mat, grabbing for opposite elbows, swaying side to side. Shake your head no, nod your chin yes. Really let your upper body hang heavy here as you find a strong foundation through your feet. Good, release your hands down, take them to interlace at your low back. With an inhale, reaching interlace hands up. Exhale, dropping your head low. One more breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, hold it here. Press the top of your head forward, drive your hips back, breathe in, exhale, fold. With an inhale, rise all the way up, reach up high, grab hold of your left wrist, take your left hand up and over to the right. Nice side body stretch. And then inhale up through center and exhale, switch your grip, grabbing hold of your right wrist, reaching towards the left. 
with your next inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold forward any way that feels good. Inhale, halfway lift, hold again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up high. Exhale, this time goal pose or cactus your arms out to the sides. So you're shining your heart forward, drawing your elbow tips down. Gaze up, slight back bend. And then inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold forward, all your breath out. Inhale, halfway lift. Step it back, high plank position. We're gonna hold it in high plank, start to build some heat here. You can always lower your knees down to the mat. Drive back through your heels, press long through the top of your head. Really press your palms firmly into the earth. Create that really strong foundation. Good, with your next inhale, shift forward onto your tiptoes. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows stay tucked in close. Inhaling to either up dog or cobra, your choice. And with an exhale, drive back down dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Take a gaze forward and then step or hop your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Full breath out. Rise, inhale, reach all the way up high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And then moving through your vinyasa. High to low, inhaling open, and exhale back, down dog. We're gonna go through two more rounds just like that. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, feet forward. Halfway lift, fold, rise, inhale, reach high. Fold forward, all your breath out. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, and chaturanga, you flow. Exhaling as you lower, inhale to draw open, and exhale back to down dog. With an inhale, take your gaze to your hands, exhale, step or hop. Halfway lift, fold, rise, inhale, reach up, fold forward, breath out. Inhale, half lift, flat back, chaturanga, exhale out. With your inhale, lift open through your chest. And with your exhale, take your hips back, downward facing dog. Make movement that feels good. Pedal it out, take your head side to side. And then with an inhale, lift your right leg up high. Bend your knee, drop open through your hip. And then hug your knee in towards your chest. Hold here, step through a warrior one. Right foot straight ahead. Back foot is angling towards the front left corner of your mat. Upper body is long, hands reaching high towards the ceiling or sky above you. Good, stay here with an inhale. And then with an exhale, reach your hands forward and back, chest forward. Inhale back up. Exhale, reaching fingertips back behind you. One more, inhale up. Exhale, fingertips reach back. Inhale, lift up high. And exhale, you flow. Hands to the earth, moving through your vinyasa. Once you come back to downward facing dog, lift your left leg up high, bend through your knee, open through your hip. And then exhale, hug your knee in towards your chest, shoulders over wrists, step through, warrior one. Lift through your upper body. Find that deep bend through your front knee. Gaze straight above you. With your exhale, hinge forward. Reach your arms back behind you. With an inhale, lift up high. Good, exhale, folding forward, arms reach back. Inhale, reach up high. One more with your breath. Exhale, reaching back, active hands. Inhale, reaching up and exhale, flow. You can always skip the vinyasa and move straight back to downward facing dog. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, step or hop forward. Halfway lift, fold, utkatasana, sit down low. Weight back through your heels. Hands coming to meet at heart center. 
Inhale, lengthen through your upper body, and then exhale, twist over to the right. Left elbow hooking over your right thigh. Hands can stay pressed together, or you can open your arms up. Go with an inhale, come back through center, sit low. Exhale, take it straight to the other side. Drive back through your hips. Open through your heart. Option to reach your arms up here. Stay with it. Deep breath. With an inhale, back through center. Exhale, fold. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling to open. And exhaling back, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg high, bend your knee, open your hip again. This time, option to flip your dog, bringing your right foot over. Good. Both feet parallel as you take shoulder circles through your right arm. And then coming back to three-legged dog and coming into side plank, right side. Right hand is down, left hand is reaching high. Bottom knee can be lowered, top leg can be lifted. Find what feels most powerful in your body today. Come back to high plank, chaturanga. Inhaling to open and exhaling back, down dog. This time you're lifting your left leg high, bend through your left knee, open through your hip, either stay here or flip your dog. If you flip your dog, taking shoulder circles through your left arm, Letting your head hang back heavy. And then slowly making your way back to three-legged dog. And coming forward, side plank. This time left hand is down, right hand is reaching high. Take your gaze to one spot. Find your power here, you've got this. Breathe in. With your exhale, you flow. All the way back to downward facing dog, back and down dog, taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg up, knee to your right elbow. Send it back. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Send it back. Exhale, knee in towards your chest, hold here. Step through, crescent lunge. Arms reach up high, gaze at one spot, deep bend through your front knee. Take your hands to meet at heart center. Left hand reaches forward, right hand reaches back. Open arm twist. If you want to deepen the twist, you can take your right hand to your back thigh, left hand reaching high above you. Good, come back through center, hands pressed together, open up, warrior two. Press down firmly through your feet. Flip your front palm, reverse, take it up and back. And then extended side angle, any variation. Press down through your feet. Keep that deep bend through your front knee. And see if you can create opening through your upper body here. Really spinning your heart towards the ceiling above you. Come back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse, take it up and back. Triangle, right hand reaching forward, left hand reaching high. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Come back to warrior two, reverse. And then half moon, right hand coming down, left foot and left arm reaching high. You can stay right here, right where you are, or you can take an optional bind, bending through your top knee, grabbing through your left foot, taking your foot into your hand as you open through your shoulder. Come back to warrior two, inhale, reverse and exhale flow. One breath per pose, all the way back to downward facing dog. In down dog, take a deep breath in, and a cleansing breath out. Left leg lifts high, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, leg back. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Leg back. Knee in towards your chest, shoulders over wrists. Step through. Crescent lunge. Arms reaching high. Your front foot pressing firmly into the earth. 
your gaze straight ahead of you. Find your power, bring your hands to meet at heart center, and then open arm twist. Right hand reaching forward, left hand reaching back. If you want to deepen the twist, taking your left hand to your right thigh, your right hand reaching high above you. Breathe in, breathe out. Make your way back through center, and then as you're ready, open it up, warrior two. Arms reaching long in both directions. With an inhale, reversing, taking it up and back, finding that stretch through your left side body, and then extended side angle. Finding length from your back heel through your right fingertips. Again, draw open through your heart, gaze moving to one space. Good, come back, warrior two. Reverse, taking up and back, straighten through your front leg, triangle. Just a little bit of softness through that front knee. Shoulder blades drawing down and back. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back to warrior two, reverse. And then half moon, the side. Launching your right foot off the earth, reaching your right hand high. Finding your dishti, your gaze towards one spot. And then option to take a bind. Breathe here, you've got this. Find lift, find opening. Create movement that feels good. Make your way back to warrior two with an inhale reverse, and with an exhale flow. Inhaling open, exhaling back to down dog. This is gonna be the last little flowy movement we do while standing. Inhale, look forward to your hands. Exhale, step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold, exhale out. Utkatasana, sit low. And with an exhale, launch your heels off the mat, reach your arms back, similar to what we did in Warrior One. Heels back down, arms reaching up. Exhale, heels pop, arms reach back. Inhale, heels down, arms reach up. One more, just like that. Exhale, heels pop, arms back. Inhale, heels down, arms up. Exhale, fold. Straighten your legs. Let your head drop heavy. Take your hands over to the outside edge of your mat, back through center, and to the other side. Walk it out here. And then inhale halfway, chaturanga, exhale. Inhaling to up dog, and exhale back, down dog. Take your gaze to your hands, walk your feet through. Come onto your mat to set up for bridge. Heels driving in towards your glutes. Hands can almost reach your heels. Arms open beside you. And with an inhale, lift your hips up high. Right, you can start to shimmy your shoulders underneath you here. Be interlacing your hands. Seeing if you can lift your hips just a little bit further up. And we'll take a few breaths here. If wheel is in your practice, you can come into wheel. Wherever you are, keeping your gaze straight up at one spot, keeping your neck aligned with your spine, breathing powerful breath here. One more breath in, a little bit more height, and then exhale, slowly release one vertebrae at a time. Once your back body reaches the mat, hugging your knees in towards your chest, rolling gently from side to side, Moving into happy baby, grabbing for the outside edges of your feet, straightening one leg, straightening the other. Deep breaths here. And one last little bit of work. Send your legs up high, feet flex back towards you. Take your hands to interlace behind the back of your head. And then right elbow going to left knee as right foot hovers over the earth and switch, elbow and knee, and switch. Try to keep your low back pressing down, no jerking through your upper body. Really have your core create the movement, inhaling through center, and exhaling as you switch sides. 
We're going for another 10, nine, you've got it, eight, seven, stay with it for six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Hug your knees in, roll gently side to side. And then you can either rock and roll straight back to down dog, or you can take an optional vinyasa between. We're gonna set up for pigeon. If you know it feels better to take thread the needle on your back, feel free to stay there. Starting with the right leg, right knee coming forward into a figure seven. Left leg extending straight back behind you. Take a moment to lift open through your heart, tenting your fingertips onto your mat. And then as you're ready, folding over your front leg, resting your forehead somewhere, whether it's your mat, stack this, a block, And taking this time to come back to your intention. To notice the quality of your breath. And to notice if there's any areas that you're still holding any tension in your body. Taking a scan here, seeing if you can relax through your face, your neck, your shoulders. As you breathe in and breathe out. And then we'll slowly take it to the other side as you're ready. Feel free to take a counter stretch if it feels good to open up through your right hip. And then bringing your left leg through, starting again by tensing the fingertips, finding that lift through your heart. And then as you're ready, Folding really deep into the stretch through your hips. A lot of times this is when I can start to feel my mind wander towards maybe what I have next in my day. And see if your mind starts to do that. If you can bring your awareness, your energy back to your breath back to your body, back to this moment right here, right now. Taking a full breath in, fill up, and then exhale, empty out. And then making your way back to down dog, taking that counter stretch on the left side if it feels right. And then walking your feet through, Coming to a seated position, legs out long in front of you, inhaling to reach your arms up high, and exhaling as you fold your upper body forward. Reach for whatever you can. Don't worry about how far you reach. Instead, find a stretch that feels really good through your legs, through your low back. Find your edge here. And then slowly begin to release one vertebrae at a time all the way back to your mat, hugging your right knee towards your chest as you breathe in. And exhale, supine twist, bringing your right leg up and over. Your left hand supporting your right thigh, your right arm teed to the right side. Breathe in, breathe out and switch. Send your right leg out long, hug your left knee in, take an inhale here, and with your exhale, create your twist. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed against the earth, gaze wherever it feels best. Inhale, and exhale, release. Take one last full body stretch, arms up above you, toes pointing forward, kind of clench everything here. And then exhale, release everything down. Shavasana. 
Relaxing through your fingers and your toes, your wrists and your ankles. Allow your mat and the earth to support you fully here. Nothing for you to carry or hold. If you can, stay for a few moments in Shavasana. And if you need to get moving, start to make small movements. Draw your knees in towards your chest, roll to one side. And find a seated position, sitting up tall, hands coming to meet at heart center, eyes can be open or closed. Take this moment to acknowledge yourself, what you have created through your practice. Take a deep breath in, fill up with all the good. Exhale out anything that doesn't serve you. Inhale one more time, filling up with everything you need. Exhale out anything else. Thank you so much for sharing your practice, your time, your energy. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.